Welcome to the Midweek Market Wrap-Up with Stats Edge Trading. If you don't know who I am, my name is Michael Noss. I'm a chartered market technician and quantitative trader. Midweek, every week, I take a look at crypto, FX, and future markets. We try to figure out what's going to happen uh, going into the end of the week by looking at what happened at the beginning of the week. And this all culminates with a live stream I do Sunday at 7 Eastern. Check out all that in the description below my website. You can uh, comment, you can subscribe and hit the little bell too, and that will notify you when I go live or sign up for my email list, which I only email when either I am going live or I have a new video or blog post or something that's interesting that's going out. So no spam. So with that being said, let's just get in the charts and see what's going on here. First chart I'm going to take a look at here is Ethereum. So we're at a super important level here at Ethereum. If you go back further on the chart, this is even more important. But this kind of like 17,000, 18,000 or 100 kind of area is really, really important. We have a, uh, a lot of congestion here and a big run up back to it. So huge level. We need to see what's going to happen next on this one. However, if I take a look here at Bitcoin, it looks a little bit more bearish. It looks like we may be putting in a bit of a bear flag here. We're struggling with the anchored VWAP from the breakdown. Uh, more of a downtrend happening here and just m less strength overall when it comes to this kind of near-term rally. So not getting excited yet. I need to see some sort of other pattern to emerge to push us higher. But right now it's looking a little bit bear flaggy for me right now. Uh, looking at the overall dollar, uh, there's really no reason to look at the individual FX pairs right now because the dollar is everything. A bull flag kind of look, we had uh, CPI data come out and that just really tanked um, the dollar, which was good for the overall stock market, but may be some trouble for some individual currencies. However, later in the day, we started to rally off this downtrend line support. So you know, for the stock market, we basically want this to push down, but so far it's looking a little bit like a bull flag. So into the stock market, when we had that CPI data came out really, really strong, um, only 8% inflation, which I guess now is a good thing. Big push up here, although sold off a little bit from those highs. I don't think we're in the clear from this kind of 420, 410 to 420 area yet. Really watching that area. I want to see a break and a hold above that. And it didn't really feel like that today. Uh, ARC is very interesting. This is basically I use ARC as a proxy for, you know, crappy, uh, unprofitable tech names, right? The, the Pelotons, everything that's gotten just absolutely destroyed recently broke out of this base and the anchored view app from this high and we're holding above that now and arc actually performed a little bit better than the overall market today so some relative strength in these junkier names so might be time to see if we can get a little short covering rally on them solar as well the other etf that i thought that was interesting breaking out of this little bull flag uh, so again it looks like growth names might be back on the table for the next little bit that's what I'm looking at. So it's just some individual names. Um, FNA has put in this really long resistance area here at 20. Full disclosure, I picked up some of this today, but I think if you get some continuation tomorrow, this one might be interesting. Uh, Stitch Fix, SFIX, big short float on this one. I think it's like 24, 25%. Nice rounded bottom look, a break of this resistance area right here, and then two inside days in a row. So things are kind of coiling up after this breakout. It might be a good look for a continuation. And last but not least, AXNX. Uh, broke out of this prior resistance area around $65 and putting in just a bit of a bull flag. So that's it for today's video. Thank you everyone for stopping by. Please leave a like, subscribe, share, all that stuff. Uh, link in the description below for more content like this on my website. Again, thank you everyone for hanging out and have a good day.